guys, welcome back to Agassi Athletics. And in this video, we're gonna talk about tennis. Now tennis, it's a phenomenal sport, a lot of fun to play. It does get the blame for wrist, elbow, and, and shoulder injuries, as well as other areas of the body. But if you know anything about us at Agassi, one thing we say is that it's not the sport or activity that's gonna cause you pain, but rather the body you take into that sport or activity. And what we're going to go through in this video are five easy to do exercises to help get your body in a more balanced position, improve your posture so that your body is ready for the demands that are needed to play tennis or any racket sport for that matter, racquetball, pickleball, you name it. So go through these exercises in the order give them. Do it before you get onto the court or you can do them right there on the court before you start hitting the ball. Uh, but I would also recommend doing these exercises once you're done playing tennis to help reset the body, get the body back to neutral uh, and, and in a balanced position. Because as you know, with tennis, it can be very one-sided, very unilateral, a lot of rotational movements in tennis. And it's going to be important that once you're done playing tennis, that you reset the body, get it back to a, a more balanced position so you can go through the rest of your day uh, with a body that is well balanced. So go through these exercises. Hope you like them. If you have any questions, leave a comment here. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, or if you have other questions, you can always email us uh, or call us at the clinic. All right. So enjoy. First exercise is the frog. You got to lie down on your back. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Let those knees relax out to the side. And then also let your arms relax out to the side with the palms up. Hold this position for two minutes, just letting your body relax and settle into this position. Next up is the foot circles and point flexes. So you're going to lie flat on your back, one leg extended out on the floor with the toes pointing to the ceiling. Bring the other leg towards your chest so your hands can interlock behind the knee making sure that the lower leg stays parallel with the floor. From here, you're going to circle the foot and ankle 20 times in one direction. And then go 20 times in the opposite direction. Making sure that the foot and ankle are moving and your knee is staying stable. After you've done circles in both directions, you're going to point and flex the foot 20 times and then switch to the other leg. Okay, next exercise is the upper spinal floor twist. So you're going to lie down on your side. You want to get your ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders stacked on top of one another, making sure there's a 90 degree angle at each one of your load bearing joints. From here, take that top arm up towards the sky and put your other hand on top of your knees to help hold those knees together. Continue to allow that top arm to rotate out to the side, allowing your head to turn with it, and then slowly let gravity pull that arm towards the floor. Stay focused here on keeping your knees together. You do not want to let your knees separate. You want to keep those knees together, use your hand to assist. Hold this for at least a minute. Focus on your breathing and keeping those knees together. And then bring your arm back to the start and switch to the other side. Next up is the cats and dogs. Start on your hands and knees, shoulders above the wrist, hips above the knees, tops of your feet on the floor. You're going to initiate this movement by tucking that pelvic girdle under, letting your spine round up towards the ceiling, bringing the head down, and then rotate your pelvis the opposite direction, sticking out that tailbone, allowing the rest of the spine to sway down towards the floor, and look up. You're going to repeat that movement 10 times. Nice fluid motion from the cat to the dog. Remember to breathe through each position here. Also be sure this is an up and down motion. You don't want to let your 
body sway forward or back. This movement should be up and down. Shoulders stay above the wrist and hips stay above the knees. Last exercise is the downward dog. You're gonna start on your hands and knees. Curl your toes under and then pull your hips up off the ground, knees bent. Drive those hips back, get your arms extended, get that spine extended. Keep those arms straight. Maintain that spinal extension and slowly try to straighten out those knees. Try to get your knees fully extended. Keep the thigh muscles, those quad muscles tight. And the goal is to try to get those heels to the ground. If you can't get there, just try to get those legs straight. Keep the spine extended, arms straight for one minute. Those are the five tennis exercises. Enjoy.